everybody, this is Mac OS X Tutorials video screencast number 5. And I'm going to show you how you can make your video play backwards. So, just a quick tip to whatever you're doing. Um, for instance, see, I had to set my camera up by myself. I didn't have somebody clicking the record button for me. So, this is what I had to do. I had to walk backwards away from the camera at first. So, I'll just show it to you. And explain why I did things the way I did it. I walked. See, when you play it forwards, I walk towards the. I play. I walk away from the camera. But when you play it backwards, I'm going to walk towards the camera, like that. Okay. So then, um, what I did in this video is I threw some cards on the ground because I saw a video of someone else doing it. So um, you notice I just kind of throw the cards on the ground. Well, now I want to pick the cards up. So if I play that backwards, the cards go back in my hand, and then to walk. Towards the away from the camera, I had to walk backwards because when I play it backwards, it looks like I'm walking away from the camera. So, this is my final product, and um, you might not like it. I don't really like it. It's kind of it's actually really corny with the music and everything. But this is it. So um, that's what we're going to make in this tutorial. So if you don't have iMovie HD, you're going to have to download it. And this only works on Macs. I'm sorry PC users, but um, you're going to have to use Google or learn how to do it. Uh, what's wrong with it? Oops. This is what I want to import. No. Oh, okay. there. Okay, so you're going to have to Google it and learn how you do install it. Or well, not install anything, but just learn how to uh, play video backwards. Now it's really easy to do, just drag your clip down to the timeline area at the bottom, choose editing and video effects and then fast slow reverse and reverse the direction of the video and use the scrubber bar to find the speed that you want it. That looks pretty good to me, just the normal speed and apply it. So, uh, apply it. And you'll see the progress bar at the bottom letting you know that it is um, um, applying it so then you can play the video and we'll see what it looks like so I kind of like the effect that it kind of automatically does with the cards hitting the ground but if you don't like it um, you can add your own video audio effect by like googling something like audio effects for time warp or something I don't know just kind of I don't know what you would want to do exactly but if you have something like I did uh, the ma this magic moment so I went to media and went to my iTunes library and I searched for this magic moment and just I added it to it so I'm gonna go this is gonna go into uh, more of adding music to a movie if you don't know how to do it or um, if you already know how to do it you can close this video but basically what I want to do is find uh, this point in this audio where he says uh, this magic moment because I want when the cards start to turn in my hand I want it to say this magic moment so we'll play right there that's what we're going to cut it off so to do this I'm just going to go to the beginning of the audio clip and just pull it in like so and just move the clip back to the zero second mark and um, I'm going to f fast forward through this video to the point where he's I see the cards coming up to my hand and just remove the audio clip to that point and then just add it back to the beginning and now I want to stop the video and audio and the video at this point so I'm just going to scroll over and cut it off just like that and we'll go back to the movie and we play it and So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to show you how you would export this for um, YouTube with the HD quality. So choose share and go to QuickTime and change this to export settings and choose share. And you'll change the click on the options button and you'll change the settings to for the H.264 to the best. And then you'll get into size. And you'll change this to HD 
seven twelve eighty by seven twenty a sixteen by nine ratio. And for the sound, you'll render it best and at 32 if 64 is not available. And OK, and just save it. So I don't know how long this is going to take. It I don't think it should take it too long because it's only a 15 second clip, but it could take it a while. So um, I would, this, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, but Palm. Yeah, this is taking too long, but that's what you would do to export it for YouTube. And once it's exported, you can quit iMovie HD and upload your video to YouTube or wherever you want to. So, thanks for watching this video and goodbye.